All right, so Obi-Wan Kenobi episode three. I can't imagine this will be a really long review, but yeah, I'm gonna start off with non-spoilers then get it o get over to the spoilers. Um, in terms of non-spoilers, there's really not much I can say other than Ewan McGregor is fucking fantastic in this show. Um, I mean, Obi-Wan, like I said in my episode one and two review, is my favorite Star Wars character. And Ewan McGregor's portrayal of him is also my favorite portrayal of the character. And uh, I'm just really loving him in this series so far. It's It's been fun to see him return to the character and see the world as it is, I think, 10 years after Order 66. Um, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. A lot of great things going down. And I think there's only four episodes left. No, there's only three episodes left. Jeez, that's crazy that there's only three already um, left to watch. But hey, you know, it's supposed to be a limited series. I don't know how they're going to wrap this up in only three episodes. There's a lot to do there, I guess. But, you know, we'll we'll see how they do. And a lot of their, not only Star Wars, but like the track record in general of Disney Plus shows is that they have a lot to complete um in the last episode but they don't quite leave themselves enough time that's kind of the case with like moon knight i thought the moon knight finale was pretty good but like a lot of the disney plus shows in general the finale is like seem kind of rushed just because there's like so much you need to do but uh hopefully that's not the case with this one i'm like i said enjoying it quite a bit so far would i say it's my favorite star wars show so far no it's definitely still The Mandalorian. And my least favorite is definitely still Book of Boba Fett. I cannot stand that show. But, uh, yeah, that's all I can really say in terms of non-spoilers for this episode. Or really, non-spoilers for the, the series in general. Because there's a lot of spoilers here. But uh, if you don't want to hear spoilers, if you're watching on YouTube, just click off the video. If you're listening on the podcast, I'll try to put a recording in saying how long you should skip ahead. But, uh, yeah, if you don't want to hear any spoilers, you've been warned. So, uh, in terms of spoilers, there's a de decent amount in this episode. Obviously, we get to see Darth Vader in his suit. Um, James Earl Jones is doing the voice. It's not like, you know, Hayden Christensen trying to do the voice of Darth Vader, which I'm happy about. But also, I'm wondering, like, how much are we actually going to see of Hayden Christensen in this show? I'm assuming that's him underneath all the makeup and lo looking like you know, Darth Vader without his, his outfit on, but, uh, we did see a little glimpse of regular-ish Anakin on that mining planet that, uh, Leia and Obi-Wan were on, um, kind of just like a projection, I guess. I wonder if that was actually Darth Vader, like, doing that, like, kind of trying to manipulate Obi-Wan and make him see things, or if that was just him kind of trying to deal with the trauma of knowing that his uh, his Padawan is still alive. But, yeah, I mean, pretty great fucking episode. At times, I was a little mad that Obi-Wan was just running from the fight from Darth Vader. But I get it. He was trying to, like, lead him away from Leia for obvious reasons, you know. Um, we go on to know that, like, in the Star Wars sequel movies, that Leia is force sensitive i'm pretty sure yeah uh so they were talking about like any force sensitive children are in danger and she's most likely force sensitive if it's that's still canonical uh is that a word I'm pretty sure but yeah i mean like the fight between obi-wan any any fight we get between obi-wan and darth vader is gonna be fucking cool you know the red versus the blue i fucking love that shit the lightsaber battles are always my favorite part of the star wars movies and uh it seems like we're gonna get some pretty good ones here at the end of the episode it seems like uh is it like the third sister i'm just gonna call her reva um yeah reva has leia now which I knew it was like, come on, don't leave Leia. I mean, I get Obi-Wan running, but the other chick, I can't remember her name at the moment. But, like, she was going to save Obi-Wan. Cool, she saved him. But, like, I had a feeling Leia would get captured again. And I wonder if this is going to be the whole season, just Leia, you know, almost getting captured. And them having to save her over and over again. I, I don't want that. 
I honestly thought this Leia thing would be wrapped up by this episode, and I was kind of hoping it would be, so we can get to other stuff, but maybe that'll be, like, the main thing of the the season, or the, the series in general, is just him trying to save Leia, but uh, at the same time, it's like, that's not what I thought we were getting with this show. I thought we were getting Obi-Wan mostly on Tatooine looking over Luke, and then, you know, him trying to keep Darth Vader away, but... It kind of makes sense why they're jumping around so much because like if you stay on Tatooine, Luke would be in trouble and then also you have Leia here so you got to keep her safe and get her back to her family and all that kind of stuff. Um, Leia in this episode, Obi-Wan was talking about something about her mother, you know, trying to do a cover story to, you know, make them safe from the, the stormtroopers that they were with and... Um, she she knows at this point that, you know, the Organas aren't her actual parents. And so, you know, she was asking about her mom and asking about her dad. She asked Obi-Wan if he was her dad. And he was like, nah, nah, fam. I kind of wish I was, but nah. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that was kind of sad. Just saying, like, I wish I was, but like, no, I can't even tell you who your real dad is, but... Yeah, I mean, like, seeing Darth Vader in the, this episode, best part of it for me. James Earl Jones coming back to voice the character, fucking fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much all I can say about the episode. There's really, I mean, there's a decent amount of spoilers in here, in this episode. But, like, it's nothing, nothing super crazy, I guess. I mean, we all expected Darth Vader. I guess I will say I didn't expect Darth Vader so soon in a fight between him and Obi-Wan so soon, but I'm happy that it happened for sure, because uh, if they would have saved everything for the last episode, I mean, you know, it builds up anticipation and stuff. I'm sure they're going to fight again, but just seeing them, you know, come together once and see each other and like interact with each other, I think that's cool just to have there until the final fight, which I'm assuming will be in the last episode, most likely. Um, which, by the way, I want to get that fucking Obi-Wan poster where, like, you have Obi-Wan and then, like, uh, Darth Vader in the distance with his lightsaber on. That looks cool as hell. But, um, yeah, I mean, Darth Vader, man. It's fucking Darth Vader. What, can, what else can I say? It's so fucking cool to see Darth Vader in the show and to see Obi-Wan fighting Darth Vader. It's something we haven't seen Ewan McGregor do before because obviously Darth Vader wasn't around when the prequel movies were, you know, uh, taking place, I guess. Darth Vader, you know, Anakin becoming Darth Vader, that was pretty much one of the last things that they did in Revenge of the Sith. And so we never got to see a duel between Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan and, and Darth Vader. Um, I mean, we saw, is it Alan Guinness? Alec Guinness, who played Obi-Wan in A New Hope? Um, I mean, obviously we saw him fight Darth Vader, but that wasn't much of a fight, to be honest. Um, so just to see, I love when cars are super loud passing by when I'm trying to record. Isn't that just great? This is what I get for trying to record in the middle of the day, but, you know, it is what it is. I, uh, I didn't stay up late to watch this episode, um, just because I've been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier, but didn't really work out too well for me anyways. Um, yeah, so where I live... Uh, just for context, like a lot of people, maybe even like, L <clears throat> excuse me, LA and stuff. Um, in LA, they get it at midnight. For me, I have to wait until 3 a.m. to watch these episodes. So most of the time, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. Um, you know, especially since I have other things I do with my life. I, I can't really justify staying up until 3 a.m. and then staying up even longer to watch the episode, then staying up even longer to record my review. Uh, because if I watch something, I I just want to record my review right after, because that's how I usually do it. But, yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say about this third episode of Obi-Wan. Like I said, this probably wasn't going to be a super long video, or super long, super long recording, if you're listening on the podcast. Um, yeah, pretty great episode. I don't know for sure if I'm going to make a video about the next episode. I was debating on not even making a video about this one, and just waiting until the whole series was done. But uh, I like to cover these week to week just because I like to watch them week to week. I don't think I could have, I don't think I could have waited to watch this episode until all of them were out, to be honest, especially just knowing that Darth Vader was in this episode. Um, I kind of had that slightly spoiled for me, but oh well. 
I'm not worried about it. But yeah, what do you guys think of episode three of Obi-Wan Kenobi? Are you liking the show so far? Are you kind of eh? Or uh, do you just outright hate it? I don't think anybody would outright hate it right now. But, um, you know, there might be some people out there. So leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of Obi-Wan so far. And uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'll see you in the next one. For those of you listening on the podcast, let's get to the next review.